Hello and welcome, John Croner with Bullseye Trader. And I'd like to welcome you to the Artificial Intelligence Holly and Market Update for Friday, April the 12th, 2019. We're also going to take a look at the uh, weekly and monthly chart shot to see how we're doing for the week and how the month is so far as well. Let's go ahead and start out with the cues and see how they did today. And you can see here we had a, uh, you know, uh, a, a, you know, basically a doji candle here or, you know, uh, a spinning top, uh, as it's called. Uh, you know, it looks like we opened up, pulled down, then gained uh, throughout the day, closed near highs for the week. Uh, you can see here the trek upward continues, the rally continues. And you can see here we have our fourth month in a row going up. So all is well on the uh, queues. Uh, relative volume for the uh, day was just 0.79 volume. You can see a little bit on the low side, but, uh, you know, nice close uh, for the week. Uh, now moving on to the spiders. And uh, we can see here, uh, well, let me clear that chart off there. You can see here another spinning top, but uh, nice gain from yesterday. So uh, definitely headed in the right direction there. You can see the weekly candle looking very nice here after uh, a consolidation here for these several weeks. Uh, headed back up, so looking very, very nice there. The month, we have the four months in a row uh, headed real nice on the green candles, uh, 0.99 volume. So that's about as average as you can get. You can see the volume bars there. Now moving on to the diamonds. Uh, you know, uh, well, let's see here. It didn't click for me. There we go. There's our diamonds. And, uh, you know, you can see here, uh, you know, on the daily, we had a nice big gap up today. Uh, finished real strong. But uh, on the weekly, uh, you know, if you looked at it real close, we actually pulled back just a few cents. So I'm going to call that dead flat on the week. And for the month, uh, you know, we are, uh, you know, look, looking good there. We have uh, a little bit of consolidation going on here. We're just about at those all-time highs. So it uh, looks like possibly building the strength to, to get through there. We're just going to have to see if we get to it and pull back or if we break above, come back and retest, and then continue the upward track. So it's uh, getting interesting, as it always is. And with that, let's go ahead and get a couple of these charts out of the way so we can look at our Holly, see how she did for the day, and we'll just make some minor adjustments here so that we can uh, see everything. Just give me one second to get that straightened out, and there we go there. And Holly Grill only had two trades today for a profit of 57 cents and a risk on profit of 68 cents. So uh, as long as you're making money, you don't need to have a whole bunch of trades. So that was very nice. Uh, and uh, we had uh, WTFC made 81 cents on a timed exit. You can see that right there. Had you stayed in until the end of the day, you would have made an extra 8 cents for 89 cents, best in both categories. Moving on to Holly 2.0, just three trades there, and she made 25 cents, but on the risk one, she did lose 30 cents. Her best trade was a short trade, Starbucks, uh, and she made 25 cents on the short, got out for a timed exit. Had you stayed in until the end of the day, just 15 cents, and that as well was the best in, best in both categories. Moving on to Holly Neo, a little more active with 12 trades. A dollar seven was the profit there, but the risk on profit was a loss of 13 cents. Her best trade was uh, FIS. V and uh, made 45 cents and that was actually on a profit save and then had you held till the end of the day only 18 cents and the best risk on trade was MC 35 cents for a timed exit had you stayed in till the end of the day it would have been 66 cents let's go ahead and bring in our uh, Excel spreadsheet here and see uh, how everything totaled out for the day we had 17 trades $1.89 profit. So the last two days we did good in the uh, risk off category. Only 25 cents in the risk one. For the week we did end up uh, in the black, which, uh, you know, it's only 48 cents, but, uh, you know, I guess that's uh, better than a sharp stick in the eye, as they say. And risk one, uh, loss of 269, and that was on 140 trades. 
and I just want to remind you, you can subscribe to our channel. Uh, you're going to see a little uh, you know, block pop up here. Just click on that. You can subscribe. Hit that alarm bell. You'll never miss one. You'll get notified every time I post a video. Over on the right, you can click on there to get a, a video to learn about some free stuff that Trade Ideas offers. It'll help you be a better trader. And then in the middle of the arrow points down to the comments, just click down there. If you want to subscribe to Trade Ideas, I can have a code there. It can save you 15% on your first month or your first year. Hey, I want to thank you for watching and God bless.